Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another review of the Dungeon of Black Company or Dungeon Black Company. And I do gotta say, this anime, I almost forgot the episode came out today, to tell you the truth. But I remember, and I was like, okay, I, I gotta watch this series just because it is one of the funniest series out right now. I don't care what anybody says, this series is just hilarious. A very good, nice, humorous isekai, and it's something that I really enjoy, right? So, the thing I like about this episode, right, is the build-up, right, with this character, Shia. So, Shia's a hero. She found, um, not the fountain of you, she found the Philosopher's Stone, which, I guess, is so dumb because she's such a company person that that Philosopher, Philosopher's Stone, that thing could have been worth a fortune, and she just probably gave it to the company, right? Because she probably went through the same training that Nino Mia went through. She's part of group three. They're adventurers. They take on the toughest challenges. And Nino Mia and Wanibe are part of group three now. However, they're just in the office section, probably going to support the heroes and that's it. Now really go with dungeon exploration. And in this episode, it's interesting because Shia does show up in the intro of the anime. So Shia is going to be one of the companions of Nino Mia, especially what, what we saw towards the end of the episode. And then Nino Mia is also going to get another companion. But the first half of the episode, with that pig training them, this got to be a reference to a movie or something. I don't know. I believe there was an anime called Rainbow. Maybe it's a reference to that. It, it, I feel like it's a reference to something and basically brainwashing them to be uh, corporate slaves, like just keep following rules, just basically do everything till death, right? And it's funny because this is a little bit of a karma for Nino Mia for what he did to his fellow co-workers. Remember when he was brainwashing them with that staff, when Rim was holding it and stuff and making them work to, not to death, but work to the brink of exhaustion where they are about to die. And then Nino Mia, basically had to do the same thing which was i was like okay i guess karma is real and right that pig deserved what what happened to him when they blew up the island it deserved that because this pig was just merciless saying oh you want to eat he took a bite of some meat dropped it on the floor and then like yep yep if you want to eat so bad eat, eat that off the floor which is like what all right if luffy was in the anime luffy will still eat eat the meat but uh, Luffy is not in the anime so that was like the first half of the episode the second half was more about company three the guy with the small daggers that we saw that's part of group three with the blonde hair we saw him again in this one which was very interesting and we got some more of the world where elves they're actually resistant to like manipulation stuff like magical stuff like they do have a barrier because I guess elves do have magic in this series which is very interesting uh that because i don't think we have seen any magical spells yet in the series we haven't seen like fireballs or anything like that so far we've seen monsters well i guess if you consider rim like breathing fire magic I, okay yes yeah, so we've, we've seen it before but I'm, I'm talking about like regular humans uh there was something interesting where she has swords it looked like she applied some electricity to it or maybe you I think she applied some electricity, or maybe it was just an electric sword to begin with, and it, and then towards the end, it was awesome to see Rim in a more adult form, and she's like, okay, I gotta get it a bit serious, and then she punched right in the gut of Shia, and then Shia was forced to join the Dungeon Black Company because Nino Mia, he's thinking ahead. He took a picture of her with everybody together, her, the monsters, Wani Bay, everybody, and now she has to be part of this group because she's a very model employee where she will tell the boss, oh, look, they were working with monsters and get them fired or, or even worse in prison, whatever, the, you know, whatever's going to happen. And now they're, they're just this big party. They went to floor three, which is different. This is like the main entrance and there was some gigantic monster in the beginning that we've seen. So I definitely do think the adventure is going to get more dangerous as they explore the cave and get more materials. And at the very end, it looked like there's another dragon in there and I'm really excited to see what that's about. Maybe it's Rim's cousin, Rim's father, or Rim's brother or something like that, or maybe just a completely different dragon that hates Rim 
So I'm excited to see what's that about, or maybe it could be a completely different monster. Overall, this episode felt like it went by super fast when I was watching. I was like, okay, wow, the episode is done already. So uh, that's all I really had to say for the episode this week. I really did enjoy it. Did I enjoy it as much as last week's episode? No, I still think last week's episode was funnier. So overall, good episode and peace.